whomever on earth is designing the neutral safety releases for the new General Motors vehicles must be fired immediately. Yep, 6.2 liter, probably blew a motor. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of a tow truck driver's day in the life. Starting off today strong with a highway disablement of a 2024 Chevy Silverado. I don't have to put this cone out, but it makes me feel better that I do. Somehow my gloves are still frozen. Gotta love that. Oh, yep, that got the kneecaps good. Ouch. There we go. All right, thank you. Do we have neutral? That'd be nice for a guy. Conditions not correct for shift. Okay. Yep, she's not gonna start. Okay, that's neat. You need a $289 tool from General Motors in order to get this vehicle into neutral. Whomever on earth is designing the neutral safety releases for the new General Motors vehicles must be fired immediately. Yep, 6.2 liter. Probably blew a motor. Will you please neutral? No, of course not. Honestly, I just, if you guys are cool with it, I'll shake it off. Just shake it off. Yeah. It helps out a lot. And it also cleans your bed. <laughs> tell you how happy he is to be in the warm whenever you would put the vehicle into neutral so keep in mind you have to have this $300 special tool from General Motors to get the vehicle into neutral right once you shift it into neutral the computer automatically turns the parking brake on and will not let you shut it off while it's in neutral I was just on the phone with my custom fab guy. He's gonna be making us some spikes for our beds so that way when we're doing wind shouts, we're not getting pulled around everywhere. 
It's been a problem a guy's been going through. I see our 2015 Tahoe. Let's back up to that. How are you? Good, how are you? What's going on with it? Uh, it's not starting at all. Okay. Even when you jump it. I tried jump starting it and it did not do nothing. Clear this side. This side, I'm not too sure. Kind of blocking everybody, but you'll have that on them bigger jobs. Thank you. I like the tape. That adds character nowadays. Tahoe is down. Now we're headed to a jump start for a 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Finally, something other than a Chevy. Oh, that's gonna be it more than likely. Yeah, I guess that's dark blue. I ended up just canceling that one. It was a lot more headache than it was worth, to be honest. You know, it's a brand new car with 27 miles on it. And I could run a snatch block and a winch and all that at a 90 and pull it out and go through all that. But uh, billing is gonna be the next issue. So better off just letting them find a wheel lift and dolly. Alrighty, after that fiasco, we are now en route to an Amazon van, which should hopefully be much less problematic. I need some smoothness today. Something needs to go right. All right, I stand corrected. The Amazon van literally just canceled two minutes after I said, you know, hoping for a little smoothness. So I guess now we're on our way to a Volkswagen Touareg. We'll see what's going on with that one. And of course it's parked right next to the curb against the snowbank. We're gonna take this puppy off. I power washed this rig and it basically came out like brand new. I'll tell you what. Oh, that's good on the knees. Yeah. Beautiful. Shift to P. Oh, what if I don't want to?
some crunchy snow under me too. It's supporting all my weight. All right, this puppy don't got too long of a drive. Gonna pop a 37 and a half point turn. We're only about 15 minutes off from the dealer to drop off this Touareg. Thankfully, that went up nice and easy. The guy needs that every once in a while. But voila, we have made it to the dealer with editing magic. Gotta get a move and groove on. It's a busy day. Yeah, that don't sound nice. I guess he wasn't lying about the transfer case. Damn it, give that a little wipe. It's parked, um, a yeah, back left corner. All right, you. thank you. No Rolling up on what should be an easy jump start. We're looking for an 03 Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo? All right, okay, you're outside? Yep. Okay, I'll be right out. All right, see you soon. Okay, pop the hood for me. Try again. Man, those GM posts are a All right, our next call is going to be a 2012 Ford Fusion. It's about a 20 minute drive. So let's scoot on over there and see what's going on. Uh, driver's side right. Passenger. Right Where is it grinding? I think it's grinding. Can I, can I drive it real quick? Yeah. Thank you. got nothing wrong with this car. I think it was just ice that he was hearing grinding on his wheels. Can I be honest with you, brother? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Just a little bit of ice stuck on the car, making noise. That is all. We're gonna go knock out this Jeep Compass. Instead, we've got a 25 minute drive just to go 10 miles. You've gotta love it. Here we are at the Jeep Compass. Let's see what's going on. Not the starter. Alternator's alternator? Right? No, alternator would have been, uh, so starter, if it was, do you, when you turn the ignition on, do you see a red lightning bolt? Yeah. Okay, let's see if it shuts off. If it doesn't shut. Whoa, buddy. I almost just ate it. We've got only a 10 minute drive to the dealership for the Jeep. All right, we're here at drop off where we are given no room anywhere. We'll just make the best of it. Break that one loose. Yep, 
that's extra healthy for the kneecaps. There we go. Call that one good, eh? He said, don't block the middle of the lane. Don't see him block to me. All right. 